In this video, I'm going to show you a Blender tip, which took me 20 years of using Blender to figure out the best value. So I'm in the UV editing workspace. Incidentally, I'm using 3.3.1 and my screencast keys are down here if you need to see what I'm pressing. However, this is relevant no matter what version of Blender you're using. So I've marked the seams on my model ready for unwrapping. Incidentally, if you don't know what unwrapping means, then do check out my UV mapping playlist, which I'll be adding quick tips to over the next couple of weeks. So I select all my model with A, U to unwrap, and I come to the unwrapping menu and I press unwrap. Now down here, we've got the margin. And for ages, I would look at this and put in a value of something like 0 0.03, make sure there's a nice big margin between my islands and carry on. Well, I thought I'd finally research what the optimum value is here. For those of you that don't want to know the why, they just want to know the number to put in here. The optimum number is 0 0.008. However, you might be best off just doing 0.01. That way, if I've got this wrong, you're still safe. So if I press enter, you can see that it looks like this, and we've got a good deal of space between our islands. So what does this mean and why is it important? Well, the spacing between your islands is important because we don't want textures from, let's say, this island here bleeding into this one here. If, let's say, I create some textures for my object here, and let's say I reduce this number to 0.01, Zero 01. So there's only a tiny gap now between all my textures. But this might be okay if I create a texture and it's let's say a 2K texture. We'll probably be all right and not see any bleed. However, if I export this as an asset and someone wants to take it into a game engine and they decide the texture is too big at 2K and they want to reduce it to 1K and that's easy enough to do. You could take it the texture, reduce it down quite easily, no problem. But the space in between the islands would therefore be reduced down further, and that's when we might start seeing some bleed. To counteract this, here's a list of the recommended island margin size for the corresponding texture size. When you're creating bigger textures, you need more pixel space between your islands, so that when you reduce your texture, you've still got enough space. If this was only eight pixel, we'd only have one pixel to play with when we went down to 256, if we did. So I'll just move this up slightly so we can see the unwrap dialog box. That might make you ask the question, why don't they make the margin in pixels? Well, with the unwrap, they don't know what texture size you're using. So this is just a percentage. And we can put these numbers in as a percentage. If I put in 16 divided by 2048, knowing that I need 16 pixels for a 2048 squared pixel image, and press enter, you can see that it's 0 0.08. And that will obviously be the same for each of these numbers. So because this is a percentage, any sized texture that I create in here will have the correct margin distance. And that's why this is in a percentage and not pixels. And that also shows you how we come to the number 0.008 for the margin size. However, I'd recommend going to 0.001 just to give yourself a little extra in case I've got all this wrong. So hopefully that answers the question, what on earth do I put in this box here and why? So look out for some more UV tips over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.